TD Amanda is the number one stock screener and scanner. This is how we're finding these winners early, guys. Uh, simple to use by total beginners. Got advanced features for professional traders. Great support. Uh, one hour free one on one training. And check out these testimonials. I mean, they're off the hook. Uh, guys love this program and they're making a ton of money. Okay, this right here is my setup stand. Just so I can build it. And, uh, you know, eventually if I get it working, when I get it working, <laughs> I'll uh, put it on a two inch pipe. And I'm still trying to decide on how to get it up in the air, whether to jack it up from inside of a bigger pipe or just put a hinge on the bottom so it can lay it down. So I'm still working on that. But I don't want it too high off the ground. Uh, in fact, when I first test it, it's probably going to be on that stand right there. All right, so step one, the central shaft is right here. I got it in the lathe. I got it centered. And what I need to do is clean this out, or at least make it nice. You know what I mean? Because there's going to be, uh, this pin is going to go inside of here. And it's actually, I'm using an old socket here. So the first step will be, once I get this clean, I'll, I'll put this inside of this. This is a socket. I heated it red hot to take all the temper out of it. You know, I'm going to put this in here. This is going to go inside there. And then I'm going to turn this down so it'll fit right inside there. So when I'm all done, it'll look sort of like that. Okay. And then the bearing will be on, on this part right here. We'll get into that. Okay, so let's do that. Let's clean out this inside and make it pretty. And what I got for that is this boring bar. That should fit inside there. What did I just drop on my toe? Whatever it was, it hurt. <coughs> oh, this drill. Okay. So let's get this thing in there. And I made a... Out of stainless steel, I made a a spacer to tell me if I'm on you know, if I'm right on the, this has to be right on the center line, so I think this needs to go up a little bit. So I want the tip of that tool to be to be right even with that. Looks about right, right there. A little bit more. Okay. So, we went in. I had to start over. I went too far. <laughs> so I just cut that piece off, and we're not going to go to 57. We're going to go to maybe. 30 or 27, half the distance. Try to clean that out. Alright, you've already seen that, so um, we'll keep going on this. Yeah, here's a piece I cut off. These threads aren't going to be used. It's probably better that I went in where there's no threads because, I mean, this was starting to just come apart here. <laughs> So anyway, now we got a nice clean place to start from. Okay, I took off 29 on it. And it looks pretty good. I'm liking it. And I'm going to mic it and find out how big this has to be. But first we need to put this inside that. So it's time to chuck this thing up, and uh, that should be fun. I got to get that pretty exact, and I'm just going to use 603 Loctite to put this in here. That should be good, I think. So let's work on this little bastard. <laughs> 
I'm going to switch to my three jaw. Um, Because, you know, it's a lot easier. I don't really need to dial this shit into the thousands. And, uh, alright, onward and upward. By the way, here's a cool way to get loose a chuck. Of course, this has these keepers that you gotta take out first that keeps it from unscrewing if you're going in reverse. But you get your little wrench here that it comes with. Put it in here and then spin it till it's resting on the way here, okay? Then you take this sucker. This gives you a lot of leverage, okay? And you can just, ah, oh, see that? It breaks it loose. So that's how you get it off. It's a nice, easy way to bust it loose. Sometimes they stick on here. And then I'm going to put a board under here, so when this thing, this thing's heavy. <laughs> Alright, let's unscrew it. Four jaw, but three jaws easier. Okay, Mr. Three Jaw. Three uh, jaw. This one's a little. <laughs> and we need a wrench. This way you can do the same thing. Get some leverage. This is just a an extension. Okay. And then don't forget your little keepers. Keep this sucker on here. Gotta find a hole. <laughs> these keepers because I like to go reverse Joe Pye he's a he's got a really good YouTube channel he taught me that if you want to thread go backwards and instead of you know threading in you thread out and then you don't have to you know have a nervous fucking breakdown when you're getting close oh <laughs> You just thread out, but you have to go in reverse, and you need uh you know, you need to turn these upside down for your threading, and, uh, you know, but you will go backwards, and you could unscrew your chuck without these little bastards in there. Okay, little Betty, we're going to drill you for a half inch. I'd like to drill it a little bit less than a half inch, and I think I have a, I got a 3 8 inch, uh, this might be able to do it, I don't know, 3 8 inch reamer, or bar, or whatever, 
might be able to do it with this. I don't know. Because I want to, I kind of wanted to do an interference fit to where, you know, I have to heat this up to get this in. But I may just say screw it and do the 603 Loctite. The 603 Loctite is this stuff. And it's how you glue metal together. You know, retaining compound. It's good shit. Well, we're not going to get there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, this first windmill is just a prototype. So, you know. I don't even know if it'll... Well, it'll, I don't even... I actually don't know if it'll work. You know? But, we're going to find out. I need to grease this thing. I don't use the slaves too much. I think that's good. I was going to just use a start off with a this is less than half inch and drill it with that to start you know and then finish it off with a little skinny bar going in reverse I guess alright let me set that up Hey, I got my boring bar set up. Let's measure the height. So I gotta go reverse on this because it's on the other side. That's the only one I got. And we need to raise it up. Because we need we need the tip of that right at this height according to lathe practices about right there. Maybe a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay. Ready to go. Be one with the lathe. I'm running both of them at the same time. <laughs> Now this is that socket that I heated up. I took all the temper out of it. Let's just see about where we're touching off here. Now well, we'll start there. Alright, reverse. Gotta go that way. You know? Okay, I got another 716 socket and 
I'm going to take a little bit of acetylene, a little bit of oxygen, too much oxygen. I already heated it up, but I wanted to show you guys. I'll get a cherry red, and then uh, let it cool slowly, and hopefully that'll take all the temper out of it. Did some work on my workbench here. It's looking better, organized, more or less. I got a shit ton of old sockets there. Anyway, we'll get this thing nice and cherry red. Yeah. Shut off the acetate, shut off the oxygen, turn off the tanks, cover it up so the sun doesn't fuck with the hoses too much. <laughs> okay, now, haha. -ha. I thought I was going to pick that up, didn't you? <laughs> So I gotta let it cool slowly. I hope this isn't air tempered steel. And then we'll try again. Okay, I got that 716 socket cooled down and let's try again here. I may have to drill it first, I don't know. Let's see what it's like from the other side. I may have to drill this first. I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see what happens from this side. Seems to be working. oil in there. Oh yeah. Go in a little bit. We got through. All right, let's give it. Uh, I'm gonna go slower this time. Press seven. I'm going to take it out and look at it. See, the idea here is 
and make this shaft fit inside there and then this fit inside there. It's the top of my thing here. Okay. So yeah. Let's see what we got here so far. Forty three. Forty three. Forty five. Well, we can keep going here. Which end are we going to go first? Mm, doesn't matter. Hey, bushing. Making a bushing out of a socket. I love sockets. They're already mostly done. You just got to adjust it. All right, seven, so we're gonna go Let's go twelve reverse. got the 53 but let's do 53 baby we're in and it's good tight feet it's good and tight all right we're done with that part cool so there we go that part is done that's a nice tight fit So now we're going to attach this to this, put marry these two, and then turn the whole thing down to where it'll fit in there. Cool, huh? And we'll do that with the famous da 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 638 retaining compound. And I want it right about there. No, I want it. Right about there. Cause the bearing's going to go here. I think I need to face this end. Alright, so that's for that. So we'll move on to that next. 
Everybody that tries Dee Dee Amanda absolutely loves her. These are all unsolicited, by the way. We didn't even ask people. I love you guys. Yeah, I love the program. So worth it. Probably made 500K. This guy's up 30K. Having everything I need to research on one page is definite time saver. Single day, 1525 profit. 15K on my first DD. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this one, man. This guy says he made 30 million. <laughs> Read this shit. I don't know. I, he sounds kind of legit. <laughs> I fucking love DD Amanda. Your program is the best tool I've ever used in the last 20, 21 years. It just goes on and on. Okay, if you trade stocks or if you're even thinking about trading stocks, this is for you guys. This is what you need. Uh, this is DD Amanda. It's the number one stock screener and scanner that's out there. Um, and it uses both uh, user input and AI to find and research winning stocks. And this is, it says right here, easy enough to use by total beginners. Um, there's really no learning curve at all. You can be finding stocks within about five minutes after you, you know, log in. And it also has a lot of advanced features that uh, are used by professional traders. Our mission is to help you make money by investing in stocks. That's the bottom line. That's what you want from something like this, you know. Now, I use this all the time, and I've found some amazing runners. Uh, you've got here, look at this. They give you one hour of free one-on-one -on -one training and instant support. Having good support on a program is just so critical, you know. I mean, here's their phone number right here. You can just call and text. Um, they've got some testimonials here. I want to show you these. Because uh, they're pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. This is what people think of her. Uh, I love you guys. Yeah, I love the program. Uh, this guy made 500K. This guy's up 30K. Uh, everything I need to research. Uh, I wasn't even in Amanda one one week and he made 10,000 bucks. So these testimonies, it just goes on and on here. So anyway, they've got a, if you want to try, oh, look at all these features, uh, dollars traded, 7MA crossovers, all sorts of stuff. Um, but they've got an $8 a day trial subscription, so you can check her out and see if you like her. Um, and some other subscription levels here. Anyway, I highly recommend this, guys, and uh, do check it out and make some money.